Welcome back to Chelsea News TV and today we're going to look at how Chelsea could line up with Adama Traore and two other signings in £200 million summer spree. So we're going to look at how Chelsea could have a new look side at the start of next season if Thomas Tuchel gets his way. Chelsea head coach Thomas Tuchel could reportedly have up to £200 million to spend on new signings this summer. Thomas Tuchel wants to improve several key areas despite leading the Blues to Champions League glory on Saturday. And today we're going to look at how Thomas Tuchel could set his side up next season if he captures his top targets in the upcoming window. And with a new manager in charge, he's going to have some players that Frank Lampard doesn't like. And with Thomas Tuchel, you know that he has done the best of the best he could with what he has done. He should be one of the respectable coaches in Chelsea's history, in my opinion. So let's get right into how they will line up. So in goal, it's going to remain as Edouard Mendy. And I think Edouard Mendy was one of Chelsea's players of the season. And he will keep his spot as number one next term. The 29-year-old's rise from being unemployed seven years ago to winning the Champions League is remarkable. The Senegal star is rarely flustered and gives confidence to the Blues' black line. Chelsea have a dependable goalkeeper for years to come in Edouard Mondi. And I think he's a decent goalkeeper for years to come. And this nicely takes us on to the right centre-back position because we know that we know that Thomas Tuchel likes to play that 3-4-3 formation. He likes to play with the back three. And in terms of Thomas Tuchel, he probably will stick with the same defence which started Saturday's final in Porto. In terms of the right centre back position, it will be Cesar Aspilicueta. He's won his seventh Chelsea trophy at the weekend and has flourished in his role under Thomas Tuchel. And he's the captain of Chelsea. He is someone that will be respected. He could be a Chelsea legend, if not a Chelsea legend. And this nicely takes us on to the main centre back, the centre back that plays in the middle, and that's going to be in the form of Thiago Silva. And he is someone that is set to say, and he is someone that's going to be given a new contract extension as well, alongside the likes of Thomas Tuchel, alongside the likes of N'Golo Kante. And Thiago Silva is going to be someone that's going to be in that main centre back position with four years to come, not maybe two, three, four years, but at least one or two years, he will be in that position and he's been doing what he's been doing best and defending very well in that unit. In terms of the left centre-back position, it's going to be in the form of Antonio Rudiger. In terms of Rudiger, he is someone that has excelled under Thomas Tuchel. He was someone that didn't even get a look in under Frank Lampard. And that's a mistake that, in my opinion, Frank Lampard made. He didn't rotate the squad as much as he deserved to and much as he had in front of him because there's a lot of squad depth in our team. And I think when it comes to Chelsea, they need to use... Rudiger in the left centre back position. He has been thriving. He is working with his systems. And this nicely takes us on to the right wing back position. And this is where we're going to bring in one of the new signings that have been linked with Chelsea. And that is in the form of Wolves star Adama Traore with the intention of playing him at wing back. And in terms of Adama Traore, he is someone that could probably play in that right wing back role. He can probably have a good rotation with Reese James or rotation with Aspilicueta. And them three players can work with each other. When it comes to Traore, he's someone that can play on the right winger role as well. He's someone that can even play in the striker role and pivot alongside Timo Werner. And in terms of the left wing back role, he's going to remain as Ben Chua. He's the long term option at left wing back, even though... Marcus Alonso is getting some minutes in recent months. But I think what Thomas Tuchel is doing right now is rotating the squad. He's making sure that the players are fighting for that position because Ben Chilwell knows that if he plays one bad game that he is always going to have the opportunity. He's going to be frightened that he might be dropped for Marcus Alonso like he was dropped in the FA Cup final versus Leicester City. In terms of the right centre mid position, it is claimed that West Ham star Declan Rice is Thomas Tuchel's top target in midfield. But the Hammers would demand an extortionate fee for the 22-year-old after qualifying for the Europa League. And in terms of Declan Rice, this guy is someone that's been linked with us again and again. He's someone that has his best friend in the form of Mason Mount at the football club. He is someone that likes the football club. He's someone that can work in the system when it comes to someone partnering Golo Kante being that replacement to Jorginho. So he's someone that could be here next season. In terms of the left centre mid position... It's definitely going to be N'Golo Kante. He is now back to his best and he put on a man-of-the-match display against Manchester City. 
for me, could be the Ballon d'Or winner because we see all the midfielders winning it. We see Luka Modric winning it. He's won everything. If he wins the um, Euro 2020 as well, then for me, N'Golo Kante deserves to win the Ballon d'Or. He's very humble and players like him deserve more respect. He deserves enough, but I think he deserves more and more because he does unthinkable things. In terms of that number 10 role, that player that can play in behind the strikers, or it's going to be in the form of Mason Mount. He is someone that's going to complete that front line with the England star, one of the first team first names on the team sheet, in my opinion. We all know that many people criticised him, criticised Frank Lampard in particular for keep on playing him on a consistent basis. But Mason Mount is someone that's getting minutes off the pitch and on the pitch, and that's something that we need to do. He's still very young, and he needs to have a good sustainable period of time in this football club. In terms of the two strikers, first of all, we're going to go with Romelu Lukaku. And in terms of Thomas Tuchel, he wants to sign a striker. And with Inter Milan's Romelu Lukaku and Tottenham's Harry Kane on the agenda, the rivalry with Spurs makes the move for Lukaku much more likely to happen because we know that Harry Kane is not going to move to Chelsea unless money talks. But when it comes to Lukaku, he is someone that has played for a football club before. Does he have the same dignity? Would he want to come back? Is he upset by the first dismissal? We have to wait and see. And in terms of the first line of person that completes the lineup, it's going to be in the form of Timo Werner. And when it comes to Thomas Tuchel, he can switch to sister and rank and play with one number 10 in the form of Mesa Mount and put two strikers in terms of Werner and Lukaku. Or he can go with Werner in the left winger role and Mesa Mount in the right winger role and Lukaku up front. I mean, but in terms of Timo Werner, he is someone that just needs that end product in this game. He, everything he does off the ball is just impeccable, but that final product is what he needs to improve. So in terms of Thomas Tuchel, this is how Thomas Tuchel could line up with Adamo Traore and two other signings in £200 million summer spending spree. And you know this guy is going to deserve that money. You know he needs the players. He needs that sustainability. You see Pep Guardiola talking about getting rid of players like Raheem Sterling, Riyad Mahrez. There needs to be a shift in mentality. You need new players. More players are hungry. We need to go for the Champions League again, even though it's unlikely. But we need to get to that status of being a club that is respected to a larger and larger extent. We see what we've done with Manchester City. And time to get more trophies under Thomas Tuchel. Maybe fight for the league. Go um, against teams like Liverpool. Go against teams like Manchester City. And we should be the team that's up front and winning the Premier League in my opinion. Let's see what Thomas Tuchel has in his locker. But we have to wait and see how everything pans out when it comes to Chelsea in the summer transfer window. But we know Roman Abramovich is going to give Thomas Tuchel money to spend. But other than that, guys, remain blessed. Stay tuned for the next video and peace.